Hello, in this video I'll be showing you my PetSmart haul. I'm just gonna dive right into it. Here is some stuff for the filters. Just some foam and ammonia remover. And I get a plant, which the bottom broke off of it, a turtle-shaped air stone, a ceramic pouch full of beneficial bacteria stuff, aquarium salt, and this is what the ceramic stuff looks like. It's for beneficial bacteria to grow in. And this is a plant that I got at Walmart, actually. And this is a smaller gravel vacuum that I got for my bed of fish tank. And it has a pump so that you can pump it easier. And here's all the foods that I got. I got betta pellets, goldfish flakes from Dollarama, tropical flakes, bottom feeder pellets, and goldfish sinking pellets. The sinking pellets are better, apparently, because the goldfish won't get swim bladder disease as often. And I actually don't like these betta pellets because they're too big for his mouth and he always just ends up spitting them back out. And I lost the plug to the thing, so I end up losing the pellets. And here's some of the water quality management we got. We got some water conditioners and aquarium salt. You can pause the video here if you want to read up on some of it. It's actually good for the fish's health and prevents some diseases. And got some ammonia testing strips. The stuff in the yellow bottle is stuff to neutralize pH and add some stuff in the water like vitamins. And we got some ammonia detoxifier and an ammonia testing kit and a bubble wand with some hose to connect to it and some more beneficial bacteria media. We got a bunch of it to put in the filter. And we got a filter cartridge that got activated carbon built into it. And a huge bag of 25 pound dark blue gravel. And my boyfriend got a ton of airline tubing for the bubbles and we got a suction cups to hold the tubing and a T connector and finally I'm going to show you the aquarium kit that we got with the fish in it but this is all the stuff that came with the aquarium of course there's the aquarium and there was a lid with LED lights that you have to put in it yourself a filter with a cartridge 60 watt heater fishnet, thermometer, and guide to cream set up and keeping your aquarium. It was on sale and by the time you bought all that stuff that it came with, it was actually cheaper just to buy the whole kit. So for the fish, we got three cute little fantail goldfish and they're all different colors. We named them Spud, Spot, and Bubbles. And here's Spot. He is my goldfish. I'm gonna actually take him home and put him in my aquarium eventually with my goldfish that I have now after once we're done quarantining them we have to quarantine them to make sure that they don't have any diseases so my fish don't get sick as you can see this is a pretty good a pretty close up shot of him or her but they are really cute when they're small and they stay cute kind of as they grow up He's the chubbiest of the three and likes to eat whatever he can get. And here is little Spud. He is the all orange goldfish that we have. And he is the smallest of the three. And he is really cute because he's so small and he seems really friendly and he's pretty quirky and he has a lot of personality it seems like he's actually kind of sick as you can see he has some ammonia burns and then he developed some hemorrhagic septicemia 
and we did buy him medicine and he was still in treatment. I'm going to do an update video about that later on and you'll be able to see the progress of our fish. He did have red spots on his fins and his fins were clamped and you could tell that he was pretty uncomfortable. When we had the three of them in the bag in the pet store, Spud, this guy, had a fish loose on him. And it was pretty creepy looking. And when we were in the pet store, we didn't know what it was. We thought it was some kind of parasite. And then it came off of him and went on another fish that we had in the bag. And so the girl at the pet store took the fish that was on after out of the bag so we got spud who originally had the lice on him now i think that is why he got sick because the other goldfish aren't getting sick and he had a fungal infection too it looked like and here is bubbles he has more of a long body and as you can see there's spud which is looks like he's more sick because this is a more recent video and this is the tank during a water change and here's the female betta i got I got her a week after i got the male betta and she's pretty green and blue color and i thought it was cool that her two little fins underneath her head are red and that's like the only red on her body see when you shine the light on her, she's actually really blue. It reminds me of a hummingbird, so I named her Hummingbird. I, and I did put her in a cup in my male betta tank, and she did get vertical stripes. And when female bettas get vertical stripes, that means that they're willing to breed with the male betta and the horizontal stripes mean that they're stressed out and she, for some reason she split her fins by herself in the middle of the night one night so i had to remove the decorations out of her little tank to make sure she wouldn't do that again but the fins actually healed pretty quickly like really quick within a week and i didn't even have to buy any better fixer medicine or anything to help. We also got this cool little bridge that they'd like to swim under and hang out under. And here's the water after it's been changed and while the water was getting changed, we put them in a plastic tote with the plant and the bridge and we just watch them go swim back and forth between the bridge and the plant and I like hiding under both. I'm just gonna leave this part of the video here. You can skip past it here if you want to. But I thought this was pretty amusing to watch. That's why I filmed it. And they actually followed the plant to hide under it when I started moving it. As I thought they would.
And we got an air tube dial adjuster thing where you can plug all the air tubes in and control which ones you want to be on. So right now you can see that the bubble wand in the back is on. And then there's more bubbles out of the back. And now there's bubbles coming out of the Colosseum. Now to show you what I got for my personal tanks at my house. So I got some apple snails, two of them. I thought they were pretty cool looking and they actually move pretty fast. And they're pretty big for an aquarium snail. And there's my fish in the background. The goldfish didn't notice them at first. But I think he nipped one of their antennas, but I think the antenna's growing back now, so we're all good. I also got a male beta, and this is him in his temporary tank. And I named him Rainbow Ollie because it looked like he had a bunch of colors on him and he's he looks like he's different colors under certain lights and here's his tank before I had it set up it's a fluval spec 5 that is 5.5 gallons I think and here he is flashing or getting getting out of the heater because I was moving it around to adjust it He's a really pretty fish. He got like blue and red in him, which I thought was kind of rare. Whenever I do something or move something around, he comes over and checks it out. Like he's pretty curious. He doesn't really get scared. He just wants to come over and check out what's happening. Well, this is what the tank looks like now, pretty much, except I added some java moss and java fern. I got some marimos in there. I did film some more video of the female and with the male in the tank, and I actually released her, and they weren't fighting. But after a while, he started chasing her, so I took her out. See her fins are pretty split and she did that by herself but they seemed to really like each other so I ended up setting a different tank for my male so that they in case they lay eggs but then you'll see what happened in a later update video and you can see that he's like shown off to her spreading his fins way out and her fins are all spread out too. And my goldfish now is like six times the size of Spot. So well, goldfish don't really attack each other or anything. And he's been alone for a long time and it's kind of bad for goldfish to be alone. So I wanted to get him a friend and I did. And I'm gonna upgrade his tank and I hope they like each other. 
So thank you for watching. If you liked watching this, then please like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.